hello this is just gonna be a random clip because i want to unbox my new bullet journal that arrived today and finally i invested in one that has thick paper so i can actually use markers <laughs> instead of just hoping it doesn't bleed through so you can already tell where it's from and i did already open it because otherwise this would be just a lot of cutting in a video so at least they package it really nicely get like a card love you guys they're becoming swiftly my new favorite company and already why is this box literally prettier than <laughs> anything i own like look at this it's gorgeous i'm gonna try and do this smoothly and here we go here we have our new bullet journal which is it's cloth like this sort of material if you can tell it's gorgeous a eh? because this is shimmery and i love the material i was afraid it would be the matte type of material that you know like holds a lot of fingerprints we have two bookmarks which are like a pearly pink i think and then of course we have the lovely silver sprayed edges I bought the one that's A5, so I'm not sure if this is the normal size or not. I mean, I can compare it to my bullet journal, but first, yeah, this is the A5 size. It has 176 pages I paid because I wanted it to last longer, <laughs> considering how expensive bullet journals are. I wanted more pages. So it lays flat, which is awesome. It's <laughs> very thick paper. It's 160 GSM, so it's actually a wonder how they make them so beautifully, <laughs> considering how thick it is. It's completely white. My last one was cream, and in the end, there's a quote, and they give you, like, a special gift with the two key orders, I think, in the back, which I adore. Now let's just compare sizes real quick. It's like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it's the normal size, but look how much thicker it is. Look how much thicker it is. This one, <laughs> this one has really thin paper. I think it's like 80, so it has 250 pages. This one has only 178, and it's so much thicker. Like, look at that. <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty much the same size. So yeah, A5 is the normal bullet journal size. I just paid extra for the pages and I am so looking forward to using it. Normally, I wouldn't use a pretty notebook like this. I just store it until I find something special to use it for. But considering I literally ordered this and invested for it to be a bullet journal, I'm going to do my best that it doesn't look ugly. But yeah, just wanted to do a short unboxing because I never, literally never do this. The first actual clip of this vlog so let's just get it started and i finally transferred to a new phone so this could actually be i mean it will definitely be a better resolution thing so i am going to give you a rough idea of what i hope to read in the next week maybe two definitely by the end of january i'm not sure how long this vlog will be because i've been slumpy for like a month <laughs> but that being said, okay, now, things that I have ongoing. I've been finally reading The Silmarillion. I'm on page 65, and it's not that long or difficult to read, so I am hoping to finish this in a timely manner. And in, anyway, it's short stories, so it's a bit easier to take breaks. The next thing that's <laughs> pretty much an embarrassment is Dune. I have no explanation. I started Children of Dune, and then took like what a two month break so I need to finally finish this so this trilogy is wrapped up I have nothing <laughs> nothing else to justify myself about in regards to that series then I want to read this graphic novel which is just the one volume so that's gonna be very short and then a very very exciting read that I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do a separate vlog for 
you can definitely let me know if that be something you'd be interested in. Having like separate vlogs for every book, even though those are kind of a lot of work. And these are very long books. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, but Star Wars vlogs are always like 40 minutes to an hour. So I have no idea how long this vlog would be because I realized that it's been like two years since I started the series. I finished it in 2020, but I haven't read the beginning books since like what, 2018, probably. The beautiful hardcover, I'm gonna annotate it and it's gonna be the best time. I missed them so much and I want to, now that I know everything that happens, I want to read more carefully and more slowly so I can take it in. And I am so excited. So let me know if you'd be interested in a separate vlog for each of the books. It's falling out, although that will be a lot of work. But if you want it, I will do it because it's at the same time fun, even though it's a lot of work. So this is pretty much the update <laughs> all of the hefty books i hope we can finally get 2021 started if you go on my goodreads like yeah i read already 40 books this year but that's because i read all of the attack on titan volumes which is <laughs> like what 34 of them i think and the extras so it's a lot when you read manga and comics it's not that difficult to reach your goal but it still is very satisfying haven't haven't finished a book yet though <laughs> Which I am a little bit embarrassed about because January is usually my best reading month and now I am rambling. So, just I need feedback on the Eye of the World. The rest is going to be in this vlog. This is going to be a very random clip, which is why the angle is absolutely atrocious. But, I read the entirety of Attack on Titan because I was binging the show. So when I finished the show, I wanted to know what happened next. But now that the new episodes are coming out, and we all know which episode is the next to come out or already has, I didn't know it came out a lot earlier for everyone else. I was just minding my own business because the episode is coming in like three hours for me on the thing where I'm watching it. And then I log into Tumblr and there it is, all the shots that I could have seen in the show and not on Tumblr. I mean, I'm not, it's not a problem because of... I already know everything that's going to happen until, like, almost the end. But I didn't want to find out on Tumblr what their designs look like. It's dangerous to go on the internet when the episode doesn't come out at the same time for everyone. I wasn't spoiled on that note. <laughs> on that note, I'm not sure if anyone actually cares about Attack on Titan, but I do. And, man... The outfit changes are finally animated and it doesn't look the same. I mean, clearly it's a different studio. Levi, for example, really doesn't look the same, but I would love him in any any format. I mean, who are we kidding? The previous animated Levi didn't even look like the manga, so I love all of them in short, but I didn't want to find out what they looked like from, <laughs> from Tumblr. I'm just gonna avoid that's why I haven't gone on TikTok in like two days. I know I'm rambling, I understand that, but this is a vlog. This is not a dedicated vlog, so I will I will definitely fangirl if I get the opportunity. But yeah, in three hours I am gonna be watching that and I'm just so sad that I didn't see it for the first time on there. Don't go on the internet if you're watching an ongoing show. That's the advice of the day. It has been a while. I don't remember the last time I actually spoke to a camera, but I have amassed a small collection of books over the last, I want to say two months. I don't remember when I last showed something that I bought. So I'm going to show you what I bought right now and then I'm going to get into what I'm reading, what the progress is, and why the hell we have not been uploading content aside from the very lengthy vlog that I uploaded last week. Hello. <laughs> so the first two books I got for very cheap because that's exactly what I've been looking for for the last like two years. Classics that I can buy for practically peanuts. And those two are these not that pretty, but who cares when they're cheap vintage classics editions of Animal Farm and 1984. I wanted these <laughs> for a while. This because I never read it, and this because I have 1984, only the edition is <laughs> 
first of all, even uglier, and second of all, not mine. It's the only book that I've ever not returned to someone, so in case I ever get guilt <laughs> one day, I wanted to have my own copy. So we've got those two, and we also have <laughs> something which is very dear to me, and that is no regrets in color. <laughs> I mean, in case you don't know, I've been reading and watching Attack on Titan since like the beginning of January. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> and I needed, I needed these color editions. The only problem with them is, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you in a second, but I wanted the hardcover originally where it's like in one, but that was not available. This was the only thing that I could get. There's only one problem, which is <laughs> they're in German. I am not German, not even a bit. I studied German for like 12 years, but I would still not be able to read these comfortably. So I printed out in black and white and not very good quality English, so I could maybe even learn German along the way. But these color editions are so pretty that I won't even regret, which is ironic considering the title of this, pun intended, I won't even regret the fact that I got them because it was the only one that I would ever be able to get in color and it's so pretty that I sometimes want to cry. They're beautiful. Let me just show you something. Look. Look at this. If you need convincing to buy No Regrets in Color because I think that's the only thing from Attack on Titan that you can get in color, get it because yeah, not regretting it. You probably won't have to get it in German but I am not sorry. And this has all the bonus chapters, bonus stories, bonus everything. So I have the printed out translations. I will be able to read this. I just flipped through it and I already wanted to cry, but it's gorgeous. It's such an improvement on black and white that I would 100% say that it's worth it. Right. The next one is one that we got. We've been selling a lot of books. And a guy wanted, I think, Sanderson and Rothfuss in, a, in exchange for this. And I think we definitely got the better deal because we bought... I bought Sanderson really cheap on Amazon. So he gave us this very, very fancy edition of Lovecraft. <laughs> Not that I like or care in particular about Lovecraft. But considering that I love fancy editions, I might actually give it a shot bookmark and it's gold really pretty and I definitely 100,000% think that we got the better end of the deal all he got was a cheap ass Mr. Born one and King Killer one <laughs> and the last one that I just got in the mail today was you can't tell shit from this, <laughs> but we've been collecting the hardcovers and only two are missing now because we bought book four and this is a change because like it has illustrations around the books. This is gorgeous and you have no idea how much I love it. This is from literally 1992. This is the first edition and <laughs> that is gorgeous let me see yeah first edition <laughs> and i am so happy because we only have now dragon reborn to get and great hunt but they are very very expensive and i probably wouldn't have gotten them if i hadn't won the <laughs> eye of the world giveaway where i got eye of the world for free so we need to complete the collection. I mean, we need to. I'm going to find the cheapest possible option and then I'm going to finish this up. It has like a bit deckled, but it's gorgeous and I love it with all my heart. I literally unboxed it today. Now, as for what I'm reading right now, I didn't even realize that the light moved. I am still, after about a million years, <laughs> reading out of the world. I am... Um, almost 200 pages in as you can see by the tabs it's going good it's going good i'm loving it a lot but i take random breaks where i just don't do anything let me know if you do that too especially in the last couple of months i just don't do anything i 
binge watch a series that I'm not even really that into and that's pretty much all I do. I have been writing a bit so that's an improvement but motivation wise <laughs> I am not in the greatest headspace right now. I am on a break from college because I am changing my course next year. So right now I'm not even in school and even though that sucked it was still some sort of routine that I had. Now my sleep schedule is gone, uh, my motivation is gone, any interest I have in anything is pretty much dampened by my obsession by with Attack on Titan because when I find something new that I like a lot I kind of tend to fixate on it and not think about anything else so on the plus side yesterday we me and my parents we like watched all eight hours of the Anne of Green Gables old from the 80s show like Anne of Green Gables and and the sequel we can't find the links for the third one that's like from 15 years later but that was great <laughs> that was definitely great a great evening I did not mind wasting my time in that way and not a good angle I know I am gonna do my best just getting my tablet out which is full of hair for whatever reason I am trying to continue reading Anne of Avonlea I have it on Kindle all the books like all eight of them or nine or however many there are I think I have everything but the poems of the Blythes or whatever So yeah, I will hopefully continue reading that too. Just realized how okay the blue light looks. But yeah, we have Anne of Green Gables. Let's hope it sinks because getting a new device is always stressful a little. Right. Anyway, Anne of Green Gables. We have that. So yeah. We're gonna finish hopefully Anne of Avonlea and The Eye of the World by the end of February if I buckle down and buckle up. No idea what I'm talking about anymore. And actually wrap them up because I know I can. I read Shadow and Bone in like a day. It is a lot shorter but that just means that I can. And I will give you a bit of an update on writing later hopefully. And to wrap up this very very long clip I will also be doing a vlog for Siege and Storm very soon, but that is like a lengthy process because I talk a lot when I'm filming <laughs> a particular vlog. It won't be two hours like the last one, I assure you, because that was a pain to edit, but that is not even relevant to this. Welcome back to my life because I've been absent. This is probably the longest vlog, not in length, but in amount of time that I've been recording it ever. So let's actually update you for once. And <clears throat> the plan for today is to finally wrap up Eye of the World after I don't even want to think how many weeks, <laughs> possibly months, but it's an embarrassment. I think I've read like one year so far in one book so far in 2021 everything else was either manga or comics so we're gonna wrap up this beast <laughs> right now then i'm gonna do my best to finish 1984 without plunging into depression which is not very likely and then i will wrap up my siege and storm vlog which is very fun but that has nothing to do with this one so i'm just updating you on my plans Finish Eye of the World, do my best with 1984, and then we'll see where the tides take us. It's ironic because I just played Pirates of the Caribbean ambiance. Anyway. Now, I am a little... Not sick. I just feel still a little phlegmy. 
but I got another package and I already opened it because <laughs> it was gigantic and it would have been very messy to do on screen, but the first order arrived. I ordered the box set of like first half of season one and it looks so pretty. I understand that this camera does it in reverse so this is not going to look good on your perspective but and it's so pretty. It slides out really smoothly as you can see. It's the first four volumes and I also ordered volume 11 but that apparently <laughs> They couldn't be bothered to check that I ordered them at the same time so they didn't put them in one package, which is fine because I get the joy of opening up two. But they also, which I didn't know, there was like plastic plastic wrap on here and it just said like includes exclusive set of 18 stickers and I was like, a what? Because this is me. Stickers and they give you two sheets. This is everything to me. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna turn them around so you can see what it actually looks like <coughs> in proper perspective, but, and they're such quality. They're like matte stickers. I wanted Attack on Titan stickers to put on my computer and I was gonna order them on Redbubble, but now they gave me 18 and it's mostly characters that I like, <laughs> like, two memes and you also have individual color illustrations of Armin, Aaron, Mikasa, and Levi, which thank you. <laughs> so that really, I was really excited. I was not going to buy the rest of the box sets because they're expensive, but I'm going to consider buying another one because maybe I can get more stickers. Not just because of the stickers, but it's really well packaged and I think you really get your worth for all the volumes so we'll see because my birthday is coming up and we <laughs> that's dangerous that's a dangerous time for when you want to buy something expensive now I'm gonna turn you around and just quickly show you what everything looks like all right let me just try and do my best <laughs> to show you what it properly looks like I mean And see, they just keep coming out, considering. I love actually when box sets are made so that it comes out that smoothly because it's easy to put back in. Death Note, for example, is sometimes a trial to put back in. So yeah, we've got one to four. And then the sticker sheets. Look at them. They're beautiful. <laughs> now, I know who all of these people are, like the little faces, but who's that? Who's that one? Because like Anne, Annie Irwin, Levi Orman, Hanji, Connie, Mikasa. Is that supposed to be Aaron? Because it doesn't look like Aaron. And I love that only the... Only they... They are actually like in color. I love that a lot. We have two memes. We have... We have Shinzo Wasasageo, which yes. And as for who these two are, I'm guessing Mikasa and Aaron also could be Armin, though. Yeah, I'm not good with silhouettes, but yeah, I love it. I love that they gave me that. And Attack on Titan, like, as a sticker, <laughs> could have used that in my bullet journal, actually. But I'm going to consider which of this, these to actually put on my computer. I'm still going to order some from Redbubble and put it on my computer, but I don't know. I'll probably put Levi, Aaron, probably Mikasa maybe that because it's very very on point for a computer yeah all in all love it absolutely love it so if you were thinking about getting the box set this is something that i didn't know would arrive and it was a lovely surprise i'm definitely going to consider buying the rest of the box sets <laughs> i know i look like crap i understand that now having unboxed this i'm going to try and wrap up this lengthy lengthy vlog soon i'm going to check how much footage i actually have which is probably not a lot but I finished I Have the World, which was a success. I realized I didn't even update. But yeah, I finished I Have the World. Loved it. Five out of five stars. I mean, who was surprised? This was a reread. And I was going to read this again. But I don't think I will before the last chapter comes out. I'm going to collect them up until chapter 22. Because volume 22. Because that's where it ends for me. No, no matter what happens. 
in chapter 139, the story ended for me at volume 22 and season 3. So I think when I collect more of them, I'm going to read them again because I want to read the physical ones this time and not the ones <laughs> online. And I'm also going to do my best to collect Junior High because I swear to God, Junior High is like serotonin in this fandom because I feel sort of pressed after watching or reading this that I just play or read Junior High to make myself feel better because the characters are still them, but it's all fun. So yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do that that's one plan but now get back to reading i'm gonna finish siege and storm which means that for this vlog i think that this is pretty much it reading wise because siege and storm is another vlog so i won't close it off yet we'll see how much footage i have and then i'll return to let you know if we're done or not <laughs>